get in, lads. Uh, the three of us are back here with another full episode, as full as I can be, uh, given our time restraints. But we're back with another full episode of the Get Football Podcast for you guys. We haven't done this in a while, but we're aiming to get the grind back on uh, because we're only 223 subscribers away from 1,000 subs. So we're trying to get there. We're trying to pump out more videos, social media, all that kind of thing, uh, all those kind of things. Uh, today, we're going to talk about the AFCON final upcoming in a couple days, uh, blue card controversy. Uh, some headlines coming out uh, in the footballing world recently. Um, I think it's going to cover it. But before I get to any of that, how are you guys doing? I haven't seen Diego in two months. That's the last time we've recorded together. I know. I haven't crazy. seen his I haven't hair seen got you longer. in a damn long time. I haven't played, we haven't played some footy together in a while. You haven't joined? I haven't mm. played footy in ages. Mm. It's a shame someone lives near the ocean now. So it's hard. And he has a I job. Do. Three. He's cool like that. I have three jobs. three jobs. Although, let's be honest, I mean, two, really. Two. Three jobs. Are we counting three as this one? <laughs> no, no, no. I have three no, jobs. No, 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 no we don't make, we don't make money off this, though. But 200, 223 subs, we might. So We might. So get we us might. there so we can make money so I can retire. Right That'd be great. We're in there. Yeah. But, but um, um, yeah, doing pretty good, man. Fully back from my injury. You guys didn't know that because I never talked about it on the podcast. But, yeah, I was injured for, like, a solid September, October, November, December, January. A solid five months. I had to learn Come how on, to man. Really walk. Like KDB out here. I learned how to walk again. KDB. That was cool. Ooh. comes and, back uh, yeah. in media now class. Now I'm back, baby. Now I'm back. We're back. All right. That's why. Right. That's why we're late on time constraints because I got training at nine and it's an OC yep. and it takes me an hour to get there. It happens. OC. It happens. Hey, guess who else is an OC right now? Is that you? My, Diego? My, that's yeah. That, that's me. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, that's right. A well, thrilling, a thrilling start a to thrilling this cast. Conversation. A thrilling start to this episode, guys. I just, hey, this I just usually don't happens. Know. I don't know if you know. Hey, this me. usually happens before the podcast starts, but because my mic wasn't working because of unforeseen circumstances, uh, is happening now. But anyway, he left his mute button on. He left his mute button on. That was <laughs> the unforeseen circumstances. Like that. <laughs> you didn't I did. Out me like that. I did. <laughs> That's crazy. But, um, so, so right, let's, let's, let's refocus. Let's refocus. Diego and I started yeah. recording before this, uh, and then we got the text from addressing that he fixed his issue, which is just pressing the button. Uh, so we're, we're, we're going to start talking about it again. Let's begin here. We only have 30 more minutes or so. So we're going to talk about the upcoming Akron final. It's in about three days from right now, uh, two and a half days or so. Uh, Nigeria Ivory Coast, uh, Ivory Coast being the hosts in their own final, famously getting to the final through some other circumstances that we'll talk about right now. Uh, but I'm going to start the way I started this previous recording. Uh, both of you, real quick, address first. Score predictions right off the bat. Go ahead. I'm going to go 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one, Nigeria. 2-1 Nigeria. Oof. Okay. Oof. Okay. I, 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 I am sticking to what I told you before. Ivory okay. Coast 2-1. Mm. my boys. Okay. And then I went. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to change it. Oh. I'm going to change my oh. After a little more thought, a little more thought. We're going uh, 1 1. Ivory Coast wins on penalties. Jeez. Mm-hmm. So I'm in the minority it, again. All right. All right. Mm-hmm. I did. Damn. I feel like with all these predictions, like if Diego's here, I'm always in the minority. Like it's always a 2v1, but that's okay. We move. It's true. It's true. <laughs> I'm always right. I am the fo- uh, football I'm guru all. after that's all. Not, that's not true. <laughs> at all. I am the football that guru. That is not true at all. That's all I got to say. No, yeah, we're not. No. <laughs> It has yet to catch on. I just said it has yet to catch on. <laughs> yeah, it's because we're, we're so inconsistent, it can't catch on. Right, that's sorry. why. That, that's what it is. That's, that's, what that's it is. exactly what it is. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> so, like I said, um, a pretty interesting run so far from Ivory Coast, at least, to the final. Uh, during the group stages, they sacked their manager during the group stages. After it looked like they might not make it out, they indeed did make it out, uh, being the hosts of the tournament. And now they're in the final against Nigeria with home field advantage nigeria being a, the sleeping giants that they are which i mentioned last recording as well um they have long been sleeping giants in any tournament they play in literally the past like four years i mean every like world cup or afcon um they're typically my favorites personally but they let me down every time um unfortunately <laughs> it's true it's true um unfortunately but they are here uh this time hoping to to pull it off which I think they will star set a lineup uh victor Ozeman leading the front line um Alex Iwobi, Onyeka, uh, and defense, True Stikon, True Stikon, who has been phenomenal this whole tournament. Uh, Moses Simon, running down the wing, of course. Nigeria are a really good team. A really good team. Uh, Andres, tell us why they're your favorites. 
I don't know, man. I feel like Ivory Coast. I feel like their journey so far into this into this final has been really lucky. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I mean, I feel like they finished third in their group, and they got out somehow. Not too sure about that. I don't know the rules on that one. I couldn't figure it out. I did look it up. Couldn't figure it out. <laughs> uh, they did finish third though, so that doesn't make any sense. Uh, they lost two of their games and won one. So I don't know how that makes sense. They did lose. The, you got to remember, Nigeria was in their group. For mm-hmm. they, they had played before in the group stages, and Nigeria did win one nil, but it was a sus penalty. I'm not gonna lie, a uh, very soft, soft penalty huh. that was given after a VAR check. So I don't know. I just feel like Nigeria is on the not on a hot streak at the moment. I don't know. I feel. Hold on, I wrote I wrote notes down right here. Come on now. Hey, all I'm saying is Nigeria comfortably beat South Africa. Did you hear about the? Did you guys watch that semifinal or the highlights at least? That was crazy. I did they not. A, and uh... so. They were leading 1-0, right? This is my research. I, I, I read it, leading... actually. I did read it, yes. Yeah, they were leading 1-0, and then they had a counterattack, scored it, make it 2-0, and then VAR came in and said that there was a penalty in the other box, and then so they brought out the the goal back and then gave gave South Africa a pen, and they equalized, and that's why it went to a penalty. It's crazy. Anyways. Um, I did. I don't know. I just feel like Nigeria, it's their time. It's their time to shine, you know? Okay. It's their time. Okay. They're going to do it. Okay. All right. Diego, tell us why. Uh, tell us why every coast your favorites here. Um, I like their players. I like. I like. <laughs> what, what the fuck you laughing for, it's Doc? Just, what the fuck just, you laughing for? Just Andres talks about. Andres talks about no, the whole run. Finish. He brought in stats. I'm not, am I done? Stats. Was I done? Okay. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. at all. No, I wasn't. I'm sorry. Um, I think I think their players are great. I like. Uh, <laughs> I'm joking. Willie Bali. Um. Honestly, one of the best defenders of the Prem for the past. All right, let him let him guys, let him talk. Right, you guys, sorry, let him sorry. talk. You, you let him talk. Say? Come on, let him talk. Little bitches. All right. Um. <laughs> the fuck. All right. <clears throat> we Keep got... going. Keep going. Thank you. Thank you. Frank Cassier, uh, Barca legend. Mm. Um, Sebastian Haller up front. Uh. Be cancer. Why can't he fucking beat the Akon? Like he can do both. <laughs> that was supporting him. Um, anyways, Sorry, I can't. That was bad, bro. That was so bad. We're gonna reset. Wow. We're gonna reset here. We're gonna reset. I... <laughs> Please, dude, go ahead. Go ahead. And Keep I quote, "I'm gonna cook, dog." That's what he said. Don't worry. <laughs> He's cooking. He's cooking he's something cooking. else. Okay, so, so. He's finish? cooking. All right, all right, hold on. He's hold cooking. On. Hold on. I was talking about Elisha. Um, new manager bounce. It's a real thing. It's a real phenomenon. It happens. Players get that boost, get that energy that the manager brings in, the new ideas. Um, yes, they lost to Nigeria. But it was 1-0. Like you said, it was a sus pen. I'll be honest. I didn't see the pen, but I like your I like your thinking. I like where you're going with that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and... They got through some tough games. Republic of Congo, not an easy game. Mm-hmm. Um, Mali has my boy Yves Basuma from Tottenham, so already not an easy game. They beat they Senegal. They did equalize twice late. That was impressive. Mm-hmm. They did equalize twice. They have a fighting spirit in them. Um, Senegal, mm-hmm. another team that was probably considered favorites, so that did not perform well, but they still have to beat them, and they beat them on penalties. Um, so it wasn't an easy run for them. They had to play some tough teams that they got through, and... I like I like the players. I like the grit that they have, and I I think they can uh, grind out a win against Nigeria. I think they have it. Okay, I like that. I like that. I'm going for Ivory Coast for my end. I mean, it's, it's just pure home home field advantage. Personally, um, great supporters, great supporters over at Ivory Coast. Uh, they have not been that successful in a long time, so I think they want this. I mean, it's only been like nine years, but they, but they they want this for sure. They've only won it twice so far. They've only won it twice most recently in, I think, 15, 2015. Yep, yep. In that 1992 and 2015. That's great. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him cook. I will say, though, I, I still am full like on the fence. I don't have full faith in Ivory Coast because I think either team could do. So, I mean, Nigeria would solve. They've only conceded two goals all season or all, all, all tournament, which is crazy. It's great defensively. Yet, they they do. I, I, I do sense a little bit of complacency with Nigeria sometimes. They leave it late. They leave it late uh, for for the other teams here. I mean, look at South Africa. They almost lost South Africa on on penalties. Um, some might say they don't deserve to be here because of that game. It depends on who you ask. Uh, but I think this game against Ivory Coast could go either way. I think Ivory Coast, though, that, that home field advantage in the final of the AFCON tournament is great. Sebastian Haller, mm-hmm. I, I like him a lot. 
Um, fantastic yeah. striker. Uh, yeah. Absolutely, just 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 a baller, just a baller. Um, mm-hmm. you, a lot of great players, you know, Saiku Fofana, Frank Cassia, like you had said. Um, defense, Antico, Willie Bowley, um, Surge, Big Surge, your man, Big Surge, Big he's Surge. there. Big Surge, he's there. Uh, great memories. Arsenal, Arsenal goat, Nicolas Pepe. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what, sorry. I remember when they bought him, and all these Arsenal fans are going crazy for him. I know. Right. And I then know. I remember that too. That they have a really good team. Jonathan Bamba, Jonathan Bamba, mm. fantastic mm-hmm. player. Wilfred Singo, fantastic player. I'm gonna keep going. Ibrahim Sangare, Sangare. Wow. That's where Cream could not have. Ivory Coast have probably one of the most slept on squads in the world, if I'm being honest. Um, I think they could pull it out. Nigeria have long been touted as, as sleeping giants, meaning people have talked about it for a long time. People kind of know what they're about. Ivory Coast, though, is a country you don't talk about that often. And I think it's going to be it's going to come to their advantage. Mixed with Nigeria's complacency, I think Ivory Coast might could pull it off here. I want to shout out Simon Adingra from Brighton. Baller. Mm. Mm. Baller. He's had some good games for Brighton already. Um, still young, still a little unpolished, but. He's, he's got it. He's got it for sure. There you go. There you go. Pretty good mixed bag here. Pretty good mixed bag. I mean, mm-hmm. preview-wise, I think, you know, both teams feel their strongest 11s as best they can. It's only one more game. You send them all through. It's going to be a good one. This is their second this, their sec- their second time playing each other in this in this mat- in this this tournament, like Diego had said. Um, of course, let us know what your thoughts, if you're watching this before the game, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, naturally. Um, or afterwards. We're always keen to hear it. Andres has notes here. Any notes you want to come out with, Andres, that we have not mentioned so far? Uh, all I got to say is, uh, <laughs> you know, in their semifinal game, you know, Sebastian Haller did score the game winner. But very lucky goal. I'm not going to lie. Oh. He scuffed that shot so badly that it, I'm just going to say it. It was it was a luck. It was purely luck. It, the way he scuffed it was so – it was just like it hit his shin and just kind of like looped in the air and then went over the keeper. But I, honestly, I think it's just going to go down. Also, you know, because it's all, you know, they're hosting. It's going to be a home field advantage for them, obviously, in this final. Mm-hmm. I think that might play a factor. It just depends on uh, if, uh, the occasion, if the nerves will get to them. That I think that's, I feel like that's with every final. That I always say that for it. But uh, I think that that's going to be a determining factor. I, I think whoever settles down first and is able to, like, relax, I think that's that's who's going to take the cake. But I'm going to stick with Nigeria 2-1. Two, two, I think extra if, time. If I- Two one an extra time. So I'm really if, if if I'm being honest here, I think I think the winner is, is whoever has the best defense. I mean, I know that sounds dumb, but like the attacks of both teams are is immense with talent. I mean, you know, Nigeria, Ozyman, Jugweze, uh, Ivory Coast, Haller. Uh, it's just like it's big name players uh, playing the attack, and they haven't been leading their teams to victory. I think, but both teams also have really solid defenses. Probably the two, probably the top two defenses in the whole tournament. Um, it should be a really close game, a really good game that should not be high scoring. Um, because I think the defense are both solid enough here to like withstand both attacks. It should be really interesting. Um, I think luck is going to play a huge part here. Um, I'm going to say now that one goal, we're going to come back and Andres is going to say it was a very lucky goal. <laughs> um, but it's going to be a yeah. good game. It's going to be a good game. Make sure to watch it if you can. If at least, if not, Sunday. make sure to watch the highlights. 12 p.m. It is indeed Sunday. Pacific time for us in the West is Coast. Is it? Is yeah. it, are you watching it on I checked. Probably, yeah. If I'm not sleeping oh, after the West Ham game. Oh, yeah, it's right before the Super Bowl. Yeah. Super Bowl, yeah. It is. A little teaser. Okay. Yeah. Knowledge, go. Diego. Now, hey, he came here to cook. He came here to cook. What did I, I say, cooking. bro? What did I say? Oh, my God. <laughs> I had doubters, and I, and I proved them wrong. Come on, Diego, man. why Ivory Coast? Well, the players are kind of cool. Good, <laughs> good players. What do I play for Arsenal? Uh, you know, he's got to be good, right? I, I was going to say something, but we're trying to keep it PG, so I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay cool. <laughs> and I appreciate that. That's growth. That's growth. That's growth right there. That's growth right there. That's growth. That's growth. That two-month two hiatus really really helped oh, him develop. Ch- ch- changed me. Changed, changed me. <laughs> changed, changed I went up into the mountains, found some inner wow. peace. Now we're, now we're back. Yeah. Wow. Damn. No, you know what changed him? Andres Diego has a girlfriend. You know that? <gasps> no fucking oh, way. <laughs> I'm the only one now without a girlfriend. Yeah. Off, dude. That's same thing with my other friend group too. I'm the only one without a girlfriend. You gotta be fucking shitting me, dude. Oh, <laughs> congratulations, Diego. I'm so Thank happy. You. Thank you. For Thank a little you, bit, I Thank thought you were gay. I'm not gonna lie. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> oh, Yo, 
Yo. <laughs> the thing is, I have been hit on by guys before, so I I don't think that's even like. I I got I, asked out by a guy at work one time. <laughs> me too. I happened to me hey. when I was working one time. It was very uncomfortable. <laughs> but it's not not to be rude or anything. It's just in, it's not my way. It's not the way I roll. <laughs> it's not, so I'm not trying to be like homophobic or anything. It just made no, me no, no, no. No one was saying you are, bro. You're good. I'm just, no, I'm worry. making sure. I'm just clarifying. He's, he's, you know? he's, I'm clarifying. He does not want to be canceled. Future. He does not I, want to be canceled, bro. Just making sure you can't get canceled if you never do get canceled. That's the first step. And if you do get canceled, <laughs> wait, wait, just what? ignore the hate. Wait, so you don't wait, get canceled. wait, 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 you can't, you can't get canceled, <laughs> you if, can't you get canceled, get canceled if you don't get canceled. So if you never get canceled, you can never get canceled. Think about it. Hey, let it sit. You- you can't get hit by a car if you don't get hit by a fucking car. <laughs> exactly. All right, like, it's just like it's like that. That's... It's like that, guys. No, love no, like, hear him out though. Hear him out though. <laughs> hear him out though. Hear me out. I'm <laughs> cooking. I'm cooking. Let it simmer a little. I'm trying to just let it marinate. Marinate. Wow. Um, yeah. See, this also happens before we start recording. You know, the banter happens, but uh, mm-hmm. you know, spilled yeah, into wait, the it's recording session. The banter happens, but uh, you know, spilled into the recording session. It seeped in. It seeped in. I beg this stays in. I beg this stays in. No, I'll leave it. I'll say. leave it. Don't worry. I'll leave Fucking it. Fucking hype, dude. I'll leave All it. All right, let's move on to our next topic. Blue card controversy. I'm Headlines. Anything blue here. Oh, oh, don't think. Uh, Headlines coming out today that uh, FIFA is looking to look at the use of the blue card. Uh, if you don't know what the blue card is, it's meant to be like uh, if you're a hockey fan, uh, you know what the power play is. A uh, player Love comes out, he goes into the sin bin, into the uh, the bad boy box. And uh, the, oh. they play they play down a man uh, for a while for a certain amount, for a certain amount of time depending on the severity of the uh, of the foul here. But FIFA is apparently looking into the use of it, uh, starting in the lower leagues. Um, the, if this were ever to be involved in the higher elite competitions, it'd be years, if not like a decade. It'd be a long time. But they're trying out with uh, uh, with what they're calling like sin bins. Essentially, you have the yellow card, you have the red card, blue card given out. Uh, for like a cynical foul or showing dissent towards the referee, they will be forced to go off the pitch for about ten minutes, uh, which is a lot. That's a ninth. That's a ninth of the game. That's a lot of time. Ten, a lot. A lot has happened in ten minutes. Um, so they're looking to use it in football. How do we feel about it? I'm gonna let Diego go first this time. Diego, how do you feel about the blue, the blue, uh, the blue card? Um, I think it's okay. I'm mostly on the side of it. it... You good, dog? My do- my doorbell ring. My doorbell ring. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm going to say it mostly as a stupid thing, just cause like, <laughs> if it's a foul that's not that aggressive, we'll give him a yellow. If it's a foul that's very aggressive, we give him a red. Um, and job done. I, I, I don't know. I feel like the blue card is kind of dumb, but I did look into it a little more and oh. a good example they gave that I think is an interesting topic is that like back in the Euro 2020 final, Chiellini's foul on Saka. You guys um, remember I, I, that? I feel as though I do remember this, yes. I he, vaguely he was remember that, goal, yeah. And oh, he pulled him back. grabs him and just pulls him back. Mm-hmm. That's a pretty mm-hmm. aggressive foul, but it was only a yellow, even mm-hmm. though he would have been through on goal. Should have been a red. So many think if, you know, maybe it was a little harsh or red, but there's where you would put a blue card, take him off the field for like, what, 10 minutes. So it's like a punishment, but it's not a permanent punishment for the rest of the game. I think it's an interesting debate, but I, I still think that you guys can't go uh, person. <clears throat> okay, I like that. I agree with that. My my, my friend, uh, my roommate. I was talking to him right now before this, and not a huge soccer fan. Doesn't find it the most entertaining to watch, which I get. If you don't, if you're not really that into soccer, it's a bo- it's a very boring sport for you to watch. I understand. Goals come by. It ain't golf. Not, not, not that frequently. It's not. But it ain't golf. Random Sorry. stray. Go- Go- random stray. Golf always deserves a random stray. Let's be real here. <laughs> real. Let's be real here. Yeah. yeah. So, real quick. <laughs> real quick. It's fun to play, not to watch. That All right. Phone? That's 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 the sick. Phone. That is so sick. Hold on, Hold on Diego. Hold on. Wait. Who, He's getting a call calling? right now. Who are you calling? Yeah, they, Tiger Woods? Go- no. No. Go- <laughs> golf. <laughs> calling you a bitch. P- Just calling you a bitch. That's crazy. <laughs> PGA is calling you a bitch. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy that's great um anyways sorry back on track he was saying that um it adds the entertainment factor uh you play 11 v 10 it's inevitable goals are going to be scored it's going to require the manager to make tactical changes that he normally wouldn't have to um it would be interesting it might make it more entertaining yes 
uh, which I agree. I agree. I doesn't necessarily change my mind. I don't think this is. A, I don't. I don't think we need this. Um, I think if refs just need to be more competent and mm. give a yellow when it's a yellow and give a red when it's a red. Um, I thought that's what VAR was meant to be for. Doesn't matter. Uh, but if they want other ways to 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 punish players, I guess okay, go ahead. Uh, interesting though, nothing personally, not something that should be used in the elite levels of football. Uh, grassroots indoor, uh, I could see it. Uh, indoor would be fun. I, think, I feel would be like really that good. would be uh, entertaining. It'd have to be something entertaining, like you know, you know that one yeah. league that we were talking about for a little yeah, bit. The, that was just the, like the Kings League. The Kings, Kings League. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, that would be entertaining to have it in, but like. Bro, then you'd have VAR checks, think about it, of blue and red card check. You'd have a blue check to see if that guy deserves a blue or red card. Like, that's just 100%. Stupid. You know how much controversy that's even going to cause even more on, mm-hmm. on refs and everything mm-hmm. else? And, you know, the Premier League is going to just be worse because, you know, Premier refs. Are Ash- Anthony Taylor. Anthony Taylor with the blue card would be a little bit crazy. But um, also, like, isn't that what the yellow card's for? The blue card is, isn't that technical with the yellow card? So it, it's just kind of stupid. I mean, it, it, yes, it, it, but like, it's like, like a combination of both, but it's not at the same time. See, the thing is, like, like with the yellow cards, right? You can, you could do whatever for yellow card. You know, you foul on my purpose. You know, you know what you're doing. You know, you're in yellow. It's gonna make players be a little less aggressive, because damn, they might get a blue card, intentional foul. They might get a blue card, and then what? I want. If I was playing, I don't want to sit out the game for 10 fucking minutes, you know? Like, I don't know. It would change dynamics a lot in a very interesting way, in my opinion. I don't like it. I don't think it should. I still don't think it should be a thing. But it is interesting. And I would like to see, like, a statistical analysis of games afterwards, like, after a certain trial period with it. Could be interesting. Let us know what you guys think, though. Let us know what it's you guys just, think. I feel like, like it's like a forced modern adaptation to try and make games interesting mm-hmm. for like newcomers, like you said mm-hmm. earlier. But it's just like it's it's just don't change the game, man. You know how weird that's going to be. You're just going to complete it. You're basically revolutionizing the game in the sense that you're going to have for those ten minutes make complete difficult different tactical changes. Mm-hmm. And maybe who knows? You have to make different subs because like what happens if blue cord blue blue cord blue card happens in the 80th minute and mm-hmm. you're not to make subs that you don't want to make in the first place. It's true. So. Yeah, I think it's stupid. Also, red and yellow make orange, not blue, so that doesn't make any sense. It should be at least a That's so true. Card. Like, yellow and red <laughs> as colors are somewhat menacing. Blue is not that scary. My favorite you know? color is blue. It's so a neutral color. Like, Thank you. I appreciate it's a neutral that. neutral color. Yeah. Or, oh, or right. what happens with ref? What happens with goalkeepers? Think about that. What happens with goalkeepers in that situation? Like, you get a goalkeeper gets a blue card. Hmm. Are they gonna have to dip and then they make a sub? What? Well, how is he gonna come back into the game if they made a sub to put in a keeper, or huh. is a field player gonna play as a keeper? All I'm just saying here, at, here huh. at the Get in Football podcast, we think about everything, and clearly FIFA does not uh, with this blue card integration. Because how do you, how do you do that? How do you manage that? That was like, actually you, that was actually a really good point. That just popped in my really head right point. now. But like it was wow. just like that. That doesn't make any sense. Like you're gonna have your keeper pop out. Maybe you make a sub to put someone in there, and then make another sub to sub out the keeper that just came back on. But then the, so you're gonna yeah, make two subs true. to can, fix. Can managers slash staff get blue cards? <laughs> Sit in the stands oh. for ten minutes, you can come yeah. back. Yeah. Out. No, okay. but I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, it's yeah, yeah. I mean, does two possible. two blue cards make a red? Okay, what's going on here? here my my <laughs> question is right get a blue card 20 minutes out of the game <laughs> you yeah. know how easy it is like okay i don't know if you guys are well versed in basketball paul pierce famously yeah, went down injured he, he famously himself. went down injured in a playoff game right uh it would, i thought that was a gruesome injury they brought out a wheelchair he was wheeled back to the locker room it was this whole thing it looked bad turns out the only thing that happened was he needed to to, to take a dump and he didn't know how to do it in the heat of the moment. So he got wheeled out on injury and he came back. And he was totally fine. He was totally fine. If you needed to crap but wanted to stay in the game, you could, in theory, get a blue card, mm-hmm. go, go do your business. Go. You'd have to Counter. strategically make it not Eric as Dyer aggressive as a red. already did this versus Chelsea in an FA Cup game. I he left the I pitch, took a dump, but came back. That seems like yeah, an but, easier but, solution. It, it's true, but the blame isn't on you. The blame is on the blue card. Eric Jarre got flamed. He got flamed for that. He won man of the match. Yeah, I know, but by the by, football Twitter, he got flamed. 
I'm saying that he got made fun of, I'm, but it was it was okay. it's the same fucking thing. You can you can that's, get I, that's back I mean. sooner than ten minutes though. Ten minutes is a long time, and he got back okay. in like five. No, it's true, it's true. But if you need to take a shit, <laughs> all I'm, if, uh, if you... all I'm all I'm saying is is that in hockey you have the you have a penalty right, and it's a two right. minute usually for a minor. Two minutes is a long ass time in hockey. Think about that. It, in, it's true. In it's soccer, true. It's probably like a whole half in terms of action for soccer. Like if you if you actually like com- try and compare it, like for it's football, true. it's prob it's probably <laughs> it's just, not it's true. no 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 in terms Highly of like action. But I, no 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 I, no in terms of like action and shots, like you have probably more shots in hockey on a power play than you do. Yes, in, yes, in yes, a half. Yes, yes. That's what I'm trying in to that say. Way, I'm not yes. trying to say. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Yes. Think about that. You're gonna have for ten minutes. Oh, nine, ten v eleven. Maybe. Oh yeah. What happens if another player goes off? It's a nine v eleven. It, it's just stupid. It's stupid. It doesn't make any sense. They never thought about it. Uh, I guess it works in Sunday league, but even in Sunday leagues, it's fucking stupid. It's just kind of funny Dude, in Sunday the league. Shithousery. The shit The yeah. uh, being the Sunday league sin bin, bro. That'd be hilarious. That'd be hilarious. Something like, like, coming soon. Bring to like the a channel. dunce cap or something, you know. Bring like a dunce cap. <laughs> and then something, something coming soon. You know, I, I'm gonna do intro soccer next um spring indoor Jeez. soccer so we're considering i might with you guys approval of course we might get like like lapel like mics and record it and i might post it on, i might post it to the channel fair dues fair yeah. dues hey, yeah. invite me down for a match i'll be graduating uh, y'all, y'all, i'll y'all be a free agent bro. in the spring is that in, in two yeah. months oh You're shit be graduated never mind. in two months no never mind i won't sorry oh. i thought you meant next spring they said no, next, no, 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 next no. Week. i'm gonna do this spring and next fall Oh, that yeah, I'll still come down. Bet. All right, all right. Sounds good to me. That working. Come on now, you know, you know. Um. Oh, I think that's all we have to talk about today. I just need to leave within nine minutes, so it's a short. Oh, episode. can I give a shout out? Come on now, to his girlfriend. No, no. Uh. Oh wait, wait a second. Well, wait. Andres. Pause. Yeah, her name. Wait her, a minute. Her name. Her name is Andrea. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what dog I think he just, want, he just wants you he wants you and got the next bro, best thing i knew you wanted me but it's all right we had our own bro he's, he's bro. dray now he's dray now bro <laughs> i'm dray now oh you're right you're right you're right i completely <laughs> forgot about that it's, it's been that long Diggle, oh, you're sh- you're, who, who are you shouting out to you no no i'm no, shouting out match of the week i think that the, the viewers must tune into um besides the Akpom final um, are we doing Bayern this? Bayern Leverkusen oh, wow. versus Bayern Munich. Oh, oh, oh I, th- um, I thought you were going to say the Asian Cup final. But we, yeah, never, get, too, we never get any representation too. these days. So, yeah, no, Bayern Leverkusen and Bayern Munich. You Munich. literally didn't want to talk about it, if we want to actually be honest. But no, no, no. no uh, it's <laughs> Bayern, Guitar Jordan, Bayern, maybe. Bayern Leverkusen, unbeaten in 30 games versus Bayern Munich favorites. It's crazy. Um, and it's we're crazy. one of the most different players in the world in Harry Kane. We're going to have a match. We're going to have a match. When is that day? When is that game? What day is that? Tell us the that exact time too. Saturday, February tenth, nine thirty a.m. Bright and early. Damn, we're oh, getting wow. treated this weekend. Wow, we is this on ESPN Plus or what is what is this? Where, where can we watch Peacock? Bundesliga would probably be ESPN Plus. Man, it's ESPN, ESPN Plus. Plus. Yeah, I think, I think so. No. Yeah. Damn, or maybe Saturday, on uh, yeah. Saturday at nine thirty. Yeah, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. All right, big all right, game. Right, let's do it. Big game. Let's do it. Hey, you know what? If we if we all watch it, we could do a we could do a match review. Damn, this is true. we could. We could do a match. This is true. Yeah. PTSD from the World Cup kicking in right now. Oh, <laughs> dude, doing match, we were, match we were up early, bro. We were up early. Bro, when, I, when Andres and I pulled an all-nighter to watch oh. uh, Chelsea West Ham, and then it was a crap game, and then I got I, I went to sleep for an hour and got picked up by my dad, and we, went, <laughs> we just drove to LA. I remember yeah, that. That was the time. World Cup, time. what a time, bro. Oh, I miss it. What a time. We'll be back. We'll be back. It. All right, well, we're gonna we're here. gonna cut that off there. I just gotta go to practice in seven minutes. Uh, we're gonna cut it off there. Like anything we talked about, if you made it here, let us know your opinion, please, in the comments because we always want to hear it. We always read every comment that we get, good or bad, every single one of them. Oh, we yeah. see it. Oh, we yeah. see it. We, do. we love we them. Do. We, we, we share it in the group uh, chat. We're, we're, we're talking uh, about y'all, it. You either are praised, flamed, <laughs> or called stupid. It depends on the comment. <laughs> It has the comment. Aaron, the comment. Every comment, every time you comment, we always praise you. Just so you know, Aaron. Oh, we love you. Yeah, we appreciate love you. We, Aaron. We love you. Aaron, um, real one. Aaron, real one. Uh, like I said, if you guys have anything, oh, I see your story, say, Aaron. Good luck on your Valentine's Day. Sorry, just have to throw him out there. <laughs> He's got a girl. He does have a girl. Everyone has a girlfriend now. What the fuck is happening? Anyways, 
Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, stay tuned to future content on this channel. Uh, and peace.